So this is a game that uh, Vine saw streamed and I learned about it first. It's called Isotopium Chernobyl. Um, or just isotopium.com is where you can go for that. And it is a unique concept that I found. Uh, for a quick history lesson, Chernobyl is a place in Russia that had like, it like had nuclear fallout because it tested nuclear weapons and then it just died. And so mm. nobody goes near there. Uh. So the game, as being shown here. Oh, it's a browser this, game. It's a it's a browser based oh. game, Whoa. and what you're seeing. This is an actual diorama that was set up in some some per, I don't know where in the world this is located. I probably should look that up. This is an actual diorama, and I am controlling. I'll be right back. Okay, oh, that didn't take long. Okay. And this and this is an actual RC car that I am piloting in this real diorama. Damn, this is kind of surreal. So, oh, and the and the music they have their own music, but I found I found it to be a bit too loud. So I'm use I'm just using some ambient mix I found from Fallout Four. Uh -huh. Felt it fit the mood. Anyway, so yes, this is Chernobyl, uh, or at least a little model diorama of it. And the idea of the game is that I am supposed to be. I think my arm is broken upwards. I, I fixed that in a bit, but that's why I hook on this door because there's like a hook on my car. I, I fixed later, but there are like there's a series of remote control cars. They have like a 200 square foot or something like that. I'll look up the official dynamics. Ooh, there's another user on another car. Oh, um, wow. Like, this there's is, a ch there's a ch this is literally as far, literally how far, um, oh, <laughs> backing up, backing up, nothing to see here. But no, like, this is, uh, ow, ow, what are you doing Don't to me? Worry. It's a laser beam that's not doing anything bad, yeah, so let me, let me fix it. Sorry about that. I had to get the house ready for oncoming visitors. No worries. So, this is. Oh, that's right. Hollow that's right. We're, we're recording this on spooky Halloween. But yeah. So Ooh. this is a so this is a 200 square yards planned anyway, uh, arena that that was that was being planned and made. It looks really nice, actually. Uh, it's being made by a company called Remote Games, and again, the idea is that this is all browser based, and I am actually controlling. A, a, I am having full control of a tiny RC car. I'll find one and show it off in a bit. And I'm piling it around this little diorama that has like buildings with multiple floors. The... Oh, so this actually is like real, and it's not this just is real. really impressive graphics. No, no, this is not impressive. Nice. This is a live camera feed from the car as I drive around this place. Oh, that's some. Uh... Jeez, like, how many people are even playing this, and like, how many? Uh... Or, it doesn't. I don't know if a lot of people are playing it at the moment, just because this is like I I didn't I had never even heard this game until I saw like Vine saw stream at one time, and hmm. I mean there's probably like one or two. Again, the, the game is kind of an alpha, so there's not a whole lot to do in it. There is one kind of cool objective, but other than that, it really for now is just kind of like driving around looking at the spectacle of what they were able to accomplish. So with it's this, like, so this is why do I go ahead. go ahead? Why do I get the feeling that this is actually a setup for something? Horror like that's gonna happen. Uh, I don't think. No, no. There's, there's no, there's nothing scary jumping out or anything like that. Although, although I will say one user came up with the humorous idea of what if for Halloween you just dumped a bunch of cockroaches in here. Oh, they just had us driving Ooh. around. <laughs> That'd be creepy. But no, anyway, let's get outside of this oh, building. Oh, but anyway, what was I trying to say? Like, this is literally like, it, this feels like less of a video game and more like a really, really highly technical um, streaming Ooh, service. It could be. Anyway, so yeah. here's our objective, is to look for these little pods and use the action button to pick up isotopes. Uh, they come in three they, they come in three varieties, a la Banjo-Tooie almost. Red uh, being worth somewhat. Okay, green are more rare to find, and blue are the rarest of rare. Um, you see that yellow lightning bolt in the upper left? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, that is my energy. So the, the the sort of caveat to this whole thing that I should get out of the way right now is it is a free to start game mm. so you can try it out for free you get like 15 minutes to try it out for free 15, and then, oh 15 minutes it's like yeah it's like 15 minutes each of those little lightning bolts is like equal to one minute uh, it, oh but I'll show it off in a bit the more isotopes I manage to find I can trade those for more minutes for free Interesting. So it doesn't. So, so you it doesn't can potentially curve. play forever if you were good enough at finding things and lucky enough to get the good ones. Otherwise, I think it's like. Otherwise, I think it's like nine dollars for one hour, mm. which I'll say right now in its current state, I don't think it's worth it. But once they add more to it, I feel like it could be. Uh, which, but I mean, it should be said. This whole place is lit up by like 
This whole thing is, this thing covers like 200, it covers like 2,000 square feet. This is all covered and illuminated, like it's artificially illuminated with 340 lamps. And they have over 30 robots. It's not cheap, which I guess is a big... Okay, so where this. we're in right now is a diorama, right? Correct. It's... Just making oh, sure. Oh, just the And uh, I have... It's sort of tank controls, if you're wondering. But other than that, it's me piloting around this diorama to collect isotopes. Yeah. And just look what they did. And I... Th th this, game has, this game has a Kickstarter. This game has a Kickstarter. It's currently raised... Uh, roughly one thousand nine hundred dollars out of five thousand, and they still have twenty nine more yeah, days to go. Mm. As of recording this, oh twenty nine. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, so they got they got a ways to go. So it's not like they're struggling, I should say yet. You know, I have to say, like, pray tell you don't accidentally get find a way to tip this thing over. You're, it's practically oh, unplayable they, by that point. Oh, they do have an admin chat, and you can just say, "Hey, I need. I, can can you flip my car back around?" And they will. So yeah, this this really yeah, does feel like less good. of a game and more like an actual. This feels like an attraction you'd probably find at a uh, theme park or something. Heck, maybe. Here's one. Of, yeah, here's one of the cars I'm piloting around. Huh. So that's Ooh. what we look like. Yeah, pretty much. Hello, yeah, brother. Talking. What is the haps? Oh, and I should say actually, uh, James, if we flip ourselves over, you see those little two hook thingies on top of the car? Um. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, those things. If I push the E and uh, Q button, the Q key, I think. Uh, the, I can actually uh, use that to flip myself back over if I were to go completely upside down. Ooh. I assume there's probably a. Oh god, uh, we got a, we got an enemy fighter. Oh, we should we should we should get to cover. They do, there is a gun that they gave you, which is the red laser beam, but it has no function yet because again, it's kind of early access. Right. Let's evade. Let us evade oh. capture. Hurry before they ram you. I'm on it. <laughs> watch, watch out! Watch out! The feds! The feds are coming. But just. Overall, oh, just like on punch it, there we go. But just overall, just the idea that like this is yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, but, oh boy. But just the idea that this is pop, yeah, yeah. just this the idea that this is there we go. Get, get get that. If you think about it, it's almost if you think about it, this almost is like a game for survival because if I don't get the isotopes before he <laughs> oh. does, he'll get more time and I will. Hello, who turned on the lights? That's me. Go? I have a flashlight. Oh, there oh God, he's still oh. after us. Let's get out of here. Ram into him. No, no, because I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around Ooh. him. I'm gonna go around him this way because he has a limited range of view, so he won't see me going along the side. Anyway, George, he's so, on to us. I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna be cutting in and out here and there, like fading in between things I find and stuff. But um, okay. yeah, just honestly so, though, I, mean, I will say I like this is a pretty ambitious little project here, but I get the feeling even if it does make its goal, I'm not sure it's gonna be able to um, make a like. It's gonna be a lot of work just to make this thing a reality. Like, there's especially if there's gonna be like more than like say 50, pe 50 or so people playing it at once. I know. Yeah, that exactly. I, I can I can tell that's gonna be hassle for the people that are engineering this. Well, they put a lot of time. I can link you to the I can link you to the Kickstarter if you want. Like, they put a lot of time like building this stuff, constructing. Well, it, what I meant and... is like you're also gonna to have to take into account like when people play this at different times and whatnot. Like, if they want this to be you know, suitable for anyone that plays it at any time, they're gonna need to have like a round the clock staff to help moderate all yeah, this. Yeah, because you know, time to. zones are a bitch. Oh no, they're going to. I, 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 I wholeheartedly agree. They are going to need to do that. They also are planning to construct a new arena uh, uh, themed around Mars exploration next year. They, they plan to anyway. Huh. For now, they have this Chernobyl one, but they will be more. But I don't know. Just I find this. I just find this idea so novel. I love. I I think this is a. I don't think I've played anything like this. It's all. And it's honestly. It's it's about. It's honestly. I say this is a little more bold than say. I don't know. Cuphead. <laughs> I, I, I would say that in, Wait, in, what? in uniqueness anyway. Like it's the ambition it has. If they can pull this off, like yeah. So yeah. That and again, it's not cheap to run all the stuff with three hundred forty lamps, twenty four seven. Like the power bill. So, so, I, know so, I, so I understand why you have to pay money to keep playing. I think what they would have it. to do is like there'd have to be like um, kind of like say in Splatoon two, whenever you want to say want want to do say uh, salmon run, there's always a time frame when you can play that. And, well, that would be you know, that actually would make sense. And you know what? I think another way they could maybe get more people on board is maybe as opposed to a pay per minute, maybe have a subscription service kind of thing. Yeah, like say maybe yeah. like say maybe oh, uh, ten or twenty ten Ooh, or twenty dollars a month. One. I could see that. You know, yeah, I think ten twenty dollars a month. Depending on how again, depending on how now depending on how deep or in or involved they can make this world and make the missions and stuff you do in it, I could see that definitely working out. Um. You know what I think mm -hmm. would be kind of interesting since James brought up the, the parallel to Cuphead? 
What if they found a way to, like, implement stuff like bosses in this? Oh, that'd be cool. I know they said that one of their stretch goals would be to create a, a bigger robot called a crusher. Mm. Which literally but, just um, crushes down on your car, and that's an instant game over. That sucks. But um, I'm also thinking, like, you brought up the Disney thing or the theme park thing. I, I Imagine if, like, Disneyland or something like that had something like this. That you could, like, go around the park in, like, a little ton. It would take, again, maintenance. Would honestly, if they see this, like, honestly, just... if this becomes successful enough where it even reaches there, reaches the, reaches over to them, you know they're probably going to take advantage of the opportunity. Oh, it, and make I, their own clone. That, yeah. Oh, oh, especially if you have to pay money for it. That, then it's a marketing thing, but yeah. Um, but, and just watch, they'll make a car steam. <laughs> Maybe. They have a car's land right now. That's true. But, but yeah, so that one there is a deactivate. We need to look for ones that have glowing LEDs, but just let's go back into Chernobyl facility. So, but all the little miniatures, all the things they put together, and, like, this is all built by hand. Like, I also realize I, for a game like this, you'd have to have some pretty strong Wi-Fi just to play it. Yeah, well, I'll, I'm so, yeah. well, I guess so. I mean, I'm probably not going to be able to play it. Who knows? I don't know. I, I know it is, again, it is free to try if you want to try it on isotopium.com. That's fair. Meanwhile, well, was that knocking from the game, or? It was from him. Okay. But yeah, while he, go, while he goes, ta while he takes care of the, takes care of the sudden, and, sudden visit from the Russians, um, yeah, like, I mean, uh, it's, I mean, Again, this is a fairly interesting concept. Just, again, there's a lot they're going to have to take into consideration. And honestly, I feel like whatever they're... I forget, how much did Logan say, like, the Kickstarter's cost is, like, the goal they're trying to reach? I... I'm not going to lie, I didn't fully pay attention to uh -oh, that. Uh-oh, the game's over. That's it. More energy. See, I ran out of so I ran out of power, so now I'm going to exchange my isotopes so I can get two Well, it's more not like you're going to need it for anything else, so... And six more minutes, so I can get eight more minutes to check things out. Yay! So I will keep that. That would explain why we have extra time here. All right. Yep. Let's go back so, yeah. to back to where we started from, or I, I assume this is where we started from. There's the chat in the lower left. Oh, nice. Found a small flying insect. Where is God hand the Camera broke. I had to where fix is the, the camera? Yeah, the admin. The the people can just pick us up. So, yeah. So, and now that you brought that up, have any of you ever played God Hand before? I, I have, have not. I've heard. I've heard of it. Just that I never had the interest in it. I'm, even though I'm, I'm well aware it was made by Clover Studio. Yeah, I've heard it's basically like. Uh, I've this, heard it's basically. Isn't it essentially it, it, just I, not not uh, Fist of the North Star? I've heard it's Fist of the North Star meets Devil May Cry. Gotcha. Well, well, Devil May Cry isn't that surprising because I think. The, the people that made it, I think it was Clover before they became Platinum. Yeah, that's what I said. Really? It's Clover Studio. That's neat. Okay, my bad. So, yeah, also, I, I mean, just, yeah, I, I'm just looking at, I, I guess, I may, I'm maybe not looking Ow. at this as, Oop. I'm maybe not looking at this as the game by itself because, I mean, yes, as you're seeing, what what, what I'm doing, collecting the isotopes, that's really all there is to do right now in this right. version it, of the it's game. A, it's a tech demo. It's, yeah, it's really more of a tech yeah. demo that is... A very impressive one all the same, the but... But I, I, are the locations of the app? Go ahead. Um, are the locations of the isotopes randomized? Yes, they'll just they'll just blip all around the place. You just have to explore and. Awesome, makes me wonder. Oh, uh, I was about to say, I wonder how that all works out. But I get, I think it just might be the machine itself, just re re random re randomly relights Ooh, every once in a while. Exactly. Yeah. And that's all it is. You have to one. get to them. Beep, out of the way. Beep. Aha. Nice. Ooh. Ah, ah, Ooh, ah. So. I'm, but I, I guess I was I guess I was wanting to use this to more like like look at it as a concept like look at this as like if we could apply this to other things because I think this has potential mm. like as its own sort of genre like real life controlled games I guess I'm sorry I just now for some reason I just suddenly had got the suddenly started thinking back to um, the the uh, Prague mission in Sly <laughs> Two where you're pretty much driving through the yep. tank as Murray. Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, they do. You know what? I can light. Uh, I can see that. Ooh, oh, light. there we go. Have my flashlight on. Okay, nothing. Anyway, uh, sorry. What were you saying? Here. Let's go across the bridge. Anyway, what were you saying? I was just saying it reminds him of pro of a prog mission in Sly Two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the scene's gotta go back farther than this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, if you're wondering, the What's music these? is just. 
And, and this dude! And this! And, and again, if you're wondering the music, this is just an ambient track that I got from uh, Fallout 4. I'm just playing it for... It oh, was, so yeah. there's no actual music there in this? There is music. It's a little iffy at times, and it's a little too loud for my take, I, for my liking. I thought this gotcha. was a better... I thought this worked better for setting the mood. Mm. You know what? It kind of does, but it also kind of reinforces the theory I had of this potentially making a good horror game. Oh, it could definitely. Uh, you can also turn off the sound if you don't want to hear, but I, I think that helps, like, again, the fact that I'm on local. Again, I, I, I remember seeing, like, little, like, micro versions of this kind of thing at, like, uh, like science labs or, like, um, uh, what am I talking about? Like, the, like, museums where, like, they have those, like, Oh yeah, you get to participate kind of museum where you can do like hands-on stuff. I used to see stuff like this, where like you would drive around a little moon uh, recreation thing. But like here, they've actually turned into sort of a game. Oh my god! I just realized if this if 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 this concept was ever to kick off, I just realized the worst fucking thing that the, the um, gaming industry can do. What's up? VR roundabout. Oh jeez! Wow. I'm a naked, regular Canadian, eh? <laughs> well, well, Giorgio. <laughs> Let's go, Giorgio. I can't stop spinning. Frickin' Mr. Bones, <laughs> or whatever his name was. Oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey the skeleton. Sheesh. Let's go to somewhere creepy, I wonder when they're ever gonna turn on that Ferris wheel. And it doesn't move. Okay, let's to be fair, this is, a, this, is a war to this is a war-torn land. Yeah, no, yeah, Chernobyl is, for ages. Oh, yeah, no, Chernobyl, Chernobyl is, like, super, like, messed up and bad. Like, I think there is there exists a photo of nuclear waste. It looks like a sludge. And they've actually called it the Medusa sludge because the only way they were able to take that picture was they magnified a camera through various... Okay, it's deactivated. They magnified a camera through various mirrors to, like, get the reflection of the sludge. Mm. And it's, so it's called the Medusa picture or something like that because literally... If you were standing physically in a spot to get that photo, you would have died. Right. Because it's just the radiation. It's, the, it's that hazardous. Okay. Oh, I, I, okay. that was a fake cut. I'm still looking around. It's... How did we get here? Ow. Oh, no, no, I still don't. So, yeah, I mean, so what do you think about this as, like, a concept? Like, do you think that... I mean, assuming that assuming that if, if we just gave them the Kickstarter, they would have everything under control, do you think they could pull this off? Maybe. I mean, again, this is a very this is a very ambitious project here, and I if it, I'd like to see it go fully work out. It's just that again, there is a lot of high maintenance to um, worry about, and even then, I doubt I doubt it's yeah. a game that would last for any longer than say maybe three four years. Yeah, how would you hype? Um, honestly, I don't really feel that much differently from James in that this definitely does look like a neat idea. But like I said, you're going to have to have a lot of, you know, care and control over this to really make this go anywhere. Because I can honestly see, and you also need to be, like, you're also going to need to have, like, a lot of ingenuity and creativity. Oop. <laughs> Oops. Out of gas. Well, fine then. Yeah. But yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So, uh, yeah. If you uh, liked or found it all interesting what you just saw there, again, this is found on isotopium.com. And they have a Kickstarter. I'll link that below. And again, just yeah, just give it some interest if you want. Uh, until then, this interesting little experiment was hosted by Lucky Jack Twenty and Jason May Extreme. And I'm regular Canadian. <laughs> Join us for Roundabout VR. No, no, I hope that doesn't exist. Hey. Till next time, guys. <laughs>